Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and here's the fourth roundup for Google Apps updates and in this video I'm going to share with you all the new changes to Google Apps that we got in the month of June and most of these changes are very exciting. So let's check what's new with the Google Apps but before getting started let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. So let's start with the most exciting update and this one is for Google Photos. First of all, you see the Google Photos icon now looks different. It's more rounded and when you go into the app, you will see a complete redesign. First of all, we no longer have the hamburger menu at the top and it got replaced with this messaging icon and when you tap on it, you go to your sharing screen. Secondly, the memories are now a lot bigger and instead of having the small circles of the old design, now we get a rectangle shape uh, uh, thumbnails and they are a lot bigger to grab more attention. And at the bottom, we have only three tabs, one called photos, one is called search and one is called library. When it comes to the photo step, the only visual change I found is in the uh, memories other than this it looks exactly the same no big difference here but when you go to the search tab things get totally different first of all you have the search bar at the top and next to that you have a section for people and pets that's exactly the same thing we used to have but it has a different design it has circular thumbnails where you can quickly scroll through your people and if you want to view all of them just tap on the view all button and this one has the same old design the next section here is called places and this is something totally new to Google Photos. Now you can see your photos on the map and it gives you some shortcuts here to quickly jump to the most recent places. In my case here I have Dubai, Dubai Marina and so on. And when you tap on the map you will see all your photos on the map where you can jump between your photos by tapping on certain areas on the map and you will get this visual indication here to let you know that you have some photos in these areas on the map as you see here this heat map showing some photos in around this area and when i tap on, the, on this area i will start seeing my photos here and when you scroll the photos will keep showing up in this thumbnail right here on the map and when you scroll keep scrolling the pen keeps changing its position depends on where the photos have been taken and also you get a nice haptic feedback while scrolling and the third section here is called things and here you can see things like uh, bridges parks things like that so you can also scroll through them but they have different design here you get cir circular icons but here you get square icons okay and next to that you will have something called your activity under your activity you only have two categories here one is called favorites where you can see all your favorite photos quickly and the second one is called recently added which are the recently added photos to your gallery and next to that you have another section called categories and this is a very helpful section it includes automatically created categories that can classify your photos so for example you have a screenshot so when you tap on a screenshots you will automatically get all your screenshots and it's linked already to your screenshots album that gets created automatically when you take a screenshot on the phone and the other helpful section here is called selfies where you can see all your selfies in one place also we have here another section or category for videos 360 photos and videos photo scan motion photos and after that you have the creations where you have all your creations or animations only collages and movies so these are very helpful automated categories that you can quickly jump to a specific type of photos in your gallery without doing anything and the final tab is called library and when you go to library here you will see the folders on your device uh, things like the whatsapp folders automatically created by whatsapp application the download folder and so on and so forth so you can scroll through them and at the top you will have also some shortcuts where you can jump to your favorites archive trash and here you have something called utilities and under your under utilities you have here the ability to create a new animation collage movie and also move photos to archive you can choose the photos you want to move free up space 
it will jump to the settings to free up your space if you have an automatic backup already turned on and also you have under utilities uh, backup device folders so you can choose which folder you want to backup and I think that's pretty much it under utilities and also you can scan photos with photo scan so it will jump quickly to the photo scan application and after that you will get your albums also on google photos when you go to the trash and the tap on any of your deleted photos now you get an idea how many days left before your photo gets permanently deleted and in my case here it says 59 days left so that's pretty much it those are the new changes under the google photos app so let's move on to the next one next google chrome and here i will show you a new hidden feature in google chrome that doesn't get activated by default but you need to play around with the chrome flags to get it up and running and as you see here i have this bottom bar and in this bar i have more than one circle and each circle represent a web page so if i have more than one web page open which is in other words more than one tap i can swap between them quickly like this by simply tapping on each circle and that's a really nice way to navigate between your tabs because you can see them beforehand they are not hidden you can see what are the web pages open already so you can decide quickly which one you, you need to jump to uh, and previously to do the same thing you have to go to the tabs view and then keep scrolling through your tabs and, and and then pick the one you want but here you have all of them available for you to quickly jump between them and if you want to add a new one simply tap on the plus sign here you will get the normal home page in google chrome where you have the address bar and your recent web pages and if you want to close a tab you see this small x right here so let me zoom in a little bit this small x if you tap on it it will close the page and you also can undo the action if you want and when it comes to checking your tabs you, you can uh, scroll through them this way or you can tap on the expand the icon right here and you will get more visual appearance to your tab so you get a thumbnail so you will know exactly which web page you have open if the icon is not enough to let you know what you have also keep in mind that this bar at the bottom doesn't stick here when you scroll up it gets minimized along with your address bar at the top so you get more real estate for viewing your web pages also keep in mind that you can reorganize your web pages by tapping on the expand icon tap and hold on any web page then put it in the spot you want and once you go back to your navigation bar here you will see facebook now is in the first spot and instead of my website all right and also if you want to get rid of any of the tabs you can ev either tap on the x or you can just swipe to either side and it will be closed and if you want to activate this feature on your google chrome you can activate it on the stable version and also on chrome beta and the article i'm going to be sharing with you it will show you the steps on how to do it on each version of google chrome next youtube music and the first change here when you tap and hold on the youtube music icon you will get a new shortcut called play my station and when you tap on it it will automatically play the automated playlist created by youtube music and you can also pin it to your home screen by tapping and hold on it and then drag it to your home screen and you will get this play icon and once you tap on it it will start playing straight away the next change here is the addition of a new tab called related and this tab if you are playing a playlist you created yourself or if you are playing any playlist automatically created by youtube music this related tab will show you all the related songs to this playlist so for example if i'm gonna go to my library and choose one of the playlists i already created myself and then play it and then go to related here youtube will add extra songs that will keep playing after my playlist ends and this is an endless way of keep getting music played on your device one more change here if you are playing music in youtube music app and then go to your maps and start any navigation you will see this youtube music icon right here and when you tap on it you will get the controls and also another button called the browse and when you tap on it it will give you quick suggestions to uh, tap on if you want to listen to a different playlist or something and also you can tap on open youtube music 
and it will take you to the YouTube Music app while minimizing your navigation using the picture-in-picture -picture mode. Next, the Google app. And I spotted two small changes only on my Pixel 4 XL that didn't show up on my Pixel 3 XL. Maybe they are server-side changes that will be rolling out to people uh, by time. Uh, and the first change here, when you tap on any article, you will get Google colors at the top, which indicating that the page is loading and also the address bar looks different than before. So if you take a look here, you will get the normal blue progress bar and the address bar at the top looks exactly like Chrome, while here it looks cleaner. It doesn't include the title of the article you are reading. That's the first visual change. And the second one, when you decide to share an article from the Google app using the share button, here you will see the option to copy the link does not include the title of the article, while on the new uh, Google uh, app, you will see the title is already included. So when you copy and then try to paste this uh, article anywhere on your device, you will see it already including the heading of the article while here it only copies the link next google assistant if you are using the original version of google assistant i don't mean the one that came with the pixel 4 but i mean the original design that we got used to and you are registered to the beta program of the google app you will get a more compact design and to show you this i turned off the new google assistant from my pixel 4 xl and i registered for the beta program of the google app and when I launch my Google Assistant, you will see it's taking less space from my screen. And also when you ask for commands, it will show you the results in less space. Next, the ability to transfer your Facebook photos to your Google Photos account. And the process can be done from your phone or from the PC. And to do it from your phone, just to open the Facebook app, tap on the hamburger menu, scroll down. You will have something called settings and the privacy. Expand it and then go to settings, scroll down until you see an option called transfer a copy of your photos. And once you tap on it, it will ask you to enter the password of your Facebook account first. And once you put your password and hit continue, here you will see an option called the choose destination. And the only thing you can choose is Google photos. And the next one is the ability to choose between photos or videos. So for example, let's say photos, and then you tap on next. It will take you to the Google account website to sign in with your Gmail. And once you sign in and give the permission, the photos will be transferred over to your Google account. And you will get a task here showing either completed, in progress or stopped. But the big problem with this process, if you added extra photos to your Facebook gallery and you did the same process one more time, it will transfer everything again, which means you will have duplicates in your Gmail account. So it doesn't give you the chance to transfer only the new changes or select specific photos to transfer. However, it transfers everything in one go one more time. And finally, Google camera version 7.4 now has a toggle in the video mode where you can swap between 4K or full HD videos. And when you are on the full HD, you will get the frame rates to choose from. While on 4K, you don't have this option because you can only record in 30 frames per second. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new updates I managed to get for Google Apps in June. And please let me know in the comments what do you think about the new changes. And if you like my video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.